Hey everybody, this is TJR. Uh, roughly maybe 10 or 12 years ago, I visited Paris, France for the first time in my life. And I loved it. I loved the city. I loved the architecture of the majority of the buildings there. I loved checking out the art museums. I loved uh, visiting the cathedrals and the historic landmarks. I loved observing the culture and I also found myself being more experimental about what types of foods I ate. I enjoyed watching and also trying to be a part of the culture. And I also found myself much more experimental and much more open to the types of food I would eat as well. And I always said that I will definitely want to come back here. I will definitely come back here someday. Well, that day finally arrived. And uh, a few days ago, I finally returned from a roughly week and a half uh, vacation away and finally got to see Paris again. On this particular trip, I revisited some of the uh, museums that I'd seen previously. This includes the Louvre, this includes the D'Orsay, just to name a few. On this particular trip, I got to visit the Père Lachaise for the first time. Uh, if you're not familiar, this is a very well-known and very famous cemetery. It's a very unique visual experience, and I got to visit the grave of Jim Morrison, among others. I also, for the first time, visited Disneyland Paris. Uh, which was a very enjoyable experience. I have given some thought to possibly doing a comparative analysis video uh, discussing some of the differences between Disneyland Paris and Disneyland in California, here where I live and have had the chance to visit a number of times. Not 100% sure if I'm going to do that one, but it's something I'm thinking about. However, though, there was one particular historical landmark that I saw for the first time that made a tremendous impression on me. Uh, so much so that as I was visiting this particular landmark, I found myself thinking there is a great video, or at least I hope there's a great video that I could make uh, about this. And uh, it would be interesting to do this for me because I've never done an analysis video that deals with history and with uh, what happened at a historical landmark. And I feel like this might be uh, an interesting challenge for me and something that hopefully you will enjoy seeing. I don't want to tell you the name of the landmark because I don't want to give anything away. Um, if I make this video, I do have to do a certain amount of historical research. I try to do my best to, to get my facts right on it. But I really am hoping that I will be able to find the uh, time and the wherewithal to make this particular video. When I have visited Europe in the past, I always find myself discovering new possibilities, new ways to look at things. And this particular visit was no exception. Uh, on this visit, I really began to realize that I want to make it a more regular habit to visit other parts of the world. And I'm already starting to try to put together plans to uh, go somewhere else in about maybe another six months or so. While I was there, I took an awful lot of photographs and I shot a lot of video. So there is the possibility I might occasionally drop some photos uh, or some video on the uh, community tab on the channel or might even put something here on the channel, just an actual video. Like I said, there is this one particular concept I have uh, for a video that deals with a historical landmark and I'm really hoping that I will be able to actually make that video and that you will enjoy it. For my next journey, I do have a particular destination in mind, but I wouldn't mind hearing your suggestions. If there is a country that you think I should go visit, that you think I'd find fascinating or interesting, uh, please let me know in the comments and tell me why. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this and get feedback and suggestions on where I might visit next. As always, I just really want to thank all of you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave uh, a like or a comment or both. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. 
and be sure to uh, smash that notification bell icon so you can know when I release new videos. Everybody take care. I got to get back to work on making more videos. Bye-bye. Three, two, one.